Hey guys, we're switching it up. We got new angles. Took me three years to change from a direct on from a side profile. How do you like it? Uh, today, today we're gonna talk about um, we're gonna talk about milestones. Uh, I think these are really important to stay motivated, stay focused, and really understand the direction that you're going, and so that you don't get demotivated. You know, I'm writing a book. Uh, I've talked to you guys about it in the past. I'm about twelve chapters in, and one one section I have it dedicated to it is entirely about milestones, and the reason for that is I, I think they're important. I think it's important to recognize when something nice happens in your path to success, in your path to weight loss, in your path to um, becoming a developer, whatever it may be, and really just take a moment to say thank you to yourself. And so we're going to talk a little bit about a mini milestone that I hit recently, and then uh, talk a little bit about why it's so important. <laughs> I'd like to take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. I've been partnering up with Dev Mountain for a couple of years now, and I've had the chance to see multiple campuses and housing. I've been really impressed. Dev Mountain has a couple different programs from web dev to iOS development, software QA, and UX design. Some are after hours part-time programs, and f some are fully immersive programs where they actually include housing at no additional cost so you can get up and go. If you're interested in finding out more, there's a link in the description below. So milestones are one of the ways that you are able to track that you're on track. And when I was learning to code and trying to become a self-taught developer, I had many milestones, uh, whether it was making a project, making a portfolio, getting a free code camp cert, all these sort of things. These are the, these are the milestones that, that you go and accomplish. And when you do, you say, you know, you take a breath and you say, that was a lot of hard work, but it was worth it. And it was every, you know, I'm going in the right direction. I may, I may not be at my destination yet, but I'm going in the right direction. So recently, um, for those of you who know, I have three courses up on a site called Scrimba. Scrimba is a tutorial site. They have a lot of great free tutorials. They have some paid ones that they've started coming out with the last one. All my courses are free on there. Which, by the way, they paid me money to make free courses on their platform which is um, pretty cool because they want to make sure that they have the best, <laughs> uh, the absolute best. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, but they want to make sure they got some good stuff on their site. And um, so I've had, I think it's been about, God, maybe two years since I posted a course. I don't know. It's been a minute. So it's so funny, man. Like it could have been a week ago. It could have been two years ago. I couldn't tell you, but I have some courses on uh, JavaScript uh, ES6 and TypeScript up on their platform. The general um, idea that makes them unique is they have a, a screencasting software. So if you have like bad internet, uh, you would never know that it's not an actual video because it's audio, it's moving and all that. But the way the technology that they've built is the the size of the files, I think, are 99% smaller because what they do is they essentially only track movement and audio. And all of a sudden, you don't need 30 frames per second. You need two frames or one frame or whatever it ends up being. And then when you go and you're doing a bunch of typing, it has all that. And the benefit to that is you can pause the video and then you can just copy the code straight off the screen. Pretty cool. But uh, recently with them, I hit 2 million minutes watched, which is pretty cool. Cause like, here's something I've put time into and people have watched them. These aren't super long courses. I think they're like an hour each, uh, but we're talking about 2 million minutes of people watching and going through and learning. And if you go on my Twitter, uh, you'll see, and I'm not very active on Twitter, that most people on there, I, I get tweets every day from somebody who's done one of the Scrimba courses. Hey, at blah, blah, blah. Thanks for checking out. Really love it. You know, all normal stuff, right? And it's cool. And, you know, it's not... So to put in perspective, 2 million minutes is quite a bit. My entire YouTube channel has about 24 million or 23 million. I did the math a second ago, so I'm looking over here. Uh, 23 million, 166 thousand minutes watched as of um, today. 425 Illuminati. <laughs> so, you know, when I look at this, these are cool things that I like to share. So, like, I share, I shared it on my Facebook. I shared it on my LinkedIn to sort of let people know like what I'm about, what it is. And I'm a proud, I'm proud of that. I am proud that, that there has been people, you know, 
tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people who watched some of these courses and got going and, and hopefully it helped them. Hopefully it helped them clear some things up and we were able to, to do something with it. And that's, that's something that I have some pride in. And I'm, you know, I'm happy that that's hap happening. So, you know, as I go and I see these little mini milestones, it reminds me why I do the things I do, right? Why I'm going out there and, and helping each other and like helping people as much as I can, right? And a lot of times I'm just trying to share my journey and share some info and, and educate people about, you know, the wrong decisions I made and the right decisions I made and why I made them, right? You could say, do this, this is the best, but if you don't really understand why, you'll never really get there. And, um, you know, it's very, if you've ever listened to Dave Ramsey, milestones, you know, he talks about, my, he doesn't really call them milestones, but he talks about this concept of the debt snowball. So if Dave Ramsey, financial sort of, sort of pay off your debt type of guy. And his idea is forget whatever has the highest interest rate, pay off the lowest balance debt you have so that it feels like you're making some progress. And once you do, you sort of have the momentum. You have these things that you then can go and appreciate what it took to get there and you feel like you got a W and so often we're on our coding journeys and all we see is the final goal and it seems so unobtainable right if you're going from not knowing how to code to senior full stack engineer or employed engineer and you're not going to count the wins along the way you're never going to get there right um it's like all the people who train for the Olympics, right? They train every day and there's little mini milestones that they go where maybe all of a sudden they couldn't do a backflip, but now they can, right? Or they could do a double backflip, but now they can. And they, they tried, they tried, they tried, and they may only get a milestone once every three months, something like that. It doesn't matter, but you need to count the W's when you get them. And maybe they're little mini W's. They don't have to be capital W's, uh, font 100 W's. You know, there's a lot of little things that... It doesn't even have to be software. Um, you know, take take me for instance. I, I'm going through somewhat of a transformative phase where I'm single for the first time in about a decade. Ladies, what's up? Uh, <laughs> but um, but uh, you know, there are things that I'm doing where I am making different decisions in my life to support the lifestyle I want to live. Right? I to to find me a nice woman and exercising and. I'm going to go kill those dogs. By the way, on a side tangent, I don't know what these dogs ate, but they shit on two of my beds and in, in, in three other rooms over last night. And so, so they ate something they shouldn't have because they're not, they don't have accidents. It's, been <laughs> I almost only had one dog by this morning. Um, you know, to send a message to the other dog. Anyway, I, I digress. But uh, in my personal life, I'm having these decisions of these mini W's where, hey, you know, what are something that I'm doing? Oh, well, I'm working out five days a week and, you know, it's I'm I'm celebrating the little tiny gains where my gut is getting smaller. Right. It's not like I don't I still have a, I don't have the six pack yet, but my gut is decreasing that dev. You know, they say the amount of years of experience a dev has is significantly proportional how far his gut <laughs> goes out. I'm trying to break that stereotype. Um, but it is um, it is nice to celebrate some of those mini Ws where, you know, I'm I'm on, um, you know, the Ring Fit Adventure, right? Which is Nintendo Switch sort of, if you ever heard of like the, um, it's basically a, a workout uh, equipment piece for your Nintendo Switch. And every time when you hit a milestone, they tell you about it. Say, hey, did you know you did a thousand squats? It's like no, but I'm a beast. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for telling me. And I'll do um, you know, I'll do a thousand tree poses pretty soon, or two hundred tree poses. And it's um, it's nice to have that affirmation that you're going in the right direction. And you shouldn't really expect it from other people, and you shouldn't want it from other people. It's okay to want it to a degree, but if you're expecting somebody else to keep you going, if you're expecting somebody else to motivate you, if you're expecting somebody else to tell you you've hit a milestone, then what you're really doing is setting yourself up for failure. Because as you go and you grow and be a young adult, old adult, um, doesn't matter. Uh, you know, I, I've told you guys quite a few times that I didn't really become a man until I was about 25. And I decided to drop out of college and I 
went on the path that I wanted to go on, not what my parents thought was best or my family thought I was best, but the thing that I'm going to do, this is the route that I'm going to do. And even then I would say, I didn't really become a man until I got a mortgage, <laughs> That's, but, uh, we're getting all over the place, pooping and becoming men and, uh, dating and whatnot milestones. So milestones are, they're there for you to say, I'm not there yet but I'm headed in the right direction. And as long as I keep taking that one step forward, I'll get there. And you've probably heard me say this quite a few times is that, and it sounds kind of stupid, but these, I have some mantras that I sort of have in my head when I get down on myself. I, one step forward every day is one. Um, get good, get better, get great is another. Be myself always is another. Cause I, I've, I've been in, parts of my life where I've sort of been ashamed of who I am. And then another is it doesn't work until it does. And what I mean by that is that you sort of can fail a hundred times. And when you stop trying, that's when you fail the final time and you never succeed. And so oftentimes getting to that, to your final goal is a series of failures, but you're going to have many wins along the way. And you should appreciate those and appreciate yourself when you accomplish those because it's hard. It's hard being good at anything. It doesn't matter what it is. Most people are okay being complacent in life and have accepted their fate. Um, you know, Joe Rogan says, go out and be the hero of your own story. And it's uh, for somebody who's a comedian, I think that's very deep. I really do. I think that if you're not being active in your life, and you're not taking an active role and you're just taking what life gives you, oftentimes life's going to give you shit. <laughs> and you just, are you going to deal with it? No. Um, you know, I, I should hope not. And you should strive to live your best life, whatever that means to you. And as you go and you work hard for that, because your best life doesn't just show up, everything worth doing takes, is, takes hard work to appreciate some of the, the successes you get along the way so that you do go and hit that main goal that then just becomes a large milestone onto the next milestone. So with all that being said, guys, I appreciate you. If you're interested in any of my courses, there are links in the description below. Uh, speaking of milestones, I'm on that hashtag road to a hundred thousand. Uh, please subscribe. It'd be really appreciated. Help a brother out and um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my latest course, the 100 Front End Interview Questions Challenge to make sure that you ace those front end interviews. Smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.